good evening. Australia's richest person is on the verge of making an incredible donation to Darwin and our nation. Nine News can reveal Gina Reinhardt has offered to build a $175 million world-leading oncology treatment centre specialising in non-invasive robotic surgery. Here's Jonathan Upton's exclusive report. She has a close friendship with Adam Giles and a passion for developing the North, but this leg of Gina Reinhardt's Darwin visit wasn't about creating wealth, but spending it. The mining heiress and official NT ambassador led her entourage into private discussions over plans for a new hospital, exclusive suites that would treat around 20 to 40 patients. She's willing to pay $175 million to build, equip and help run it, if we can find the land. Uh, she's come to us with a proposal to see how she can assist uh, uh, by some sort of contribution in designing a, uh, an up-to-date medical facility here in the Territory and we're having some early discussions about what that might look like. Mrs Reinhardt is intensely private and reluctant to trumpet her philanthropy so she let the Chief and her media minder fill questions as she continued her site inspections. She loves Australia, she is committed to Northern Australia, um, she believes that Northern Australia should be the boom gateway of Australia and um, you know this is where her heart is and this is where she wants to see this project. We've got to sit down now and see what that looks like, uh, where we could potentially place it, uh, how it would service people the best, uh, what the cost structures would be and, and where it would uh, best uh, be suited to be located in the top end in the, ter in the territory. So the caravan rolled on to possible sites. First stop and possibly the most romantic from an historical point of view, the end of Mitchell Street where Darwin's old hospital used to be. They're also looking at Miley Point near Cullum Bay and Lee Point in the northern suburbs. If this comes off, this will be a tremendous thing for the people of the Territory, but, but broadly for Australia and the region. I mean, this is the sort of thing that people would travel from other countries to want to use. And this is why they'd come. The centre will be equipped with the very latest cancer-fighting technology, offering non-invasive alternatives to surgery, consolidating other much smaller facilities that already exist down south. CyberKnife, Gamma Knife and the robotic Da Vinci surgical system are just some of the options. Revolutionary treatment targeting tumours with extreme accuracy through small incisions or none at all. Some rooms will be reserved for underprivileged patients, those who usually couldn't afford treatment like this. I think it's a very a generous offer by Gina towards the Northern Territory. Uh, it's a very generous uh, offer to Australia because this would be a world leading facility in Australia. There are still a number of issues to work through, most notably where will the facility be built and who will fund those ongoing costs. But Territory taxpayers really shouldn't be too concerned. This is an asset, not a liability. For a woman who's prepared to gift us $175 million and who has an overall estimated worth of $20 billion, it's highly unlikely she'll pinch pennies over a treatment centre that will almost certainly be named in her honour. Jonathan Upton, Nine News.